Oh, hi there, wonderful audience. You guys are awesome, and that's kind of all I wanted. No, 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 actually, we're back with Pokemon White episode 54, which totally blinked my mind for like eight seconds there. So anyway, let's grab this item over here. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Did I just get past that guy without even battling? That's odd. I should be... Oh, nope, nope. Total luck. I have to battle him anyways. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'm here to understand the end of the world, but I don't quite get it. Wait, the end of the world, but... The world hasn't ended, I don't... What? Huh? What? First and only Pokemon is Duosion. Alright, Zapat evolves in three levels, I'm gonna heal it up right- Oh no! And let me guess, it's a Pokemon we haven't captured yet, so I have to capture it, so this battle has to happen, and yeah, pretty much. Oh man, now that I think about it, we got Zapat at a really high level, I've only gotten it like three le No, no, we got it 28, didn't we? I actually don't remember, because... If so, then we've gotten around five levels since then, which is great, so we only need two, three more to evolve it, so let's see. Five, three, eight levels to evolve it since you captured. That's really good, if you ask me. And considering it only evolves once, and it's got a massive special attack and speed, it's worth it. So, um, I guess I'm talking about everything except for cap- Oh my god, no, no, oh, silly Rayquaza, you moron, you're supposed to capture it, not defeat it. Oh well, yeah, um, back to my other point, though. Uh, if you bring like a bug type Pokemon with a bug type attack with the decent attack in this place tower thing, you really won't have that much trouble defeat. Wait, ah! Let me guess, another Pokemon I haven't captured till I have to. Yeah, I thought so. Which is fine, you know, I really do have to capture a Litwick. So, reminds me of a Wick. 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 Ah, the Wick Company, whatever. Th not, it's not a company, is it? It's, a, it's a, like a product or something. Anyways, it's a fire type, and it's a ghost type at the same time, so none of my Pokemon really have an advantage over it, so I'm gonna send out Clyde, because Clyde's a specially bulky, tappier Pokemon, which, I want to say pig, but it's not a pig. Oh no, Foresight, that, that wasn't Foresight, what, I read Foresight, so whatever. Hey, we got Future Sight, when we do that? Anyways, <laughs> oh, wow, I totally lost whatever I was going on about, but anyways, we're gonna try and go for Hypnosis, so we can capture this little... Little bugger. Oh, right, bugger. Right, bugs. If you bring a bug type of one in this place, you're pretty much uh, not going to have too much trouble because everything here is either psychic, ghost, or the rare, the rare, super rare dealing I saw in here, which was not like a wild Pokemon, but a trainer Pokemon. Uh, weak to bugs. So, yeah. Or you could just bring a dark type. That, that works too. Or if you know you're playing with imported Pokemon, you can bring a dark fire type like Houndoom. That works too. Or for, you know, talking about imported Pokemon in general, you could just bring, like, a steel bug type, too, because it, it would probably resist most of the ghosts and dark and uh, psychic attacks coming at you. Though, the thing with that is, you'd have to avoid some of these Litwicks or Chandeliers or uh, the middle form, I forgot. Not that there's any Chandeliers in here. Alright, so let's just go with, uh, where... It's, like, actually 8 a.m., so I was thinking, maybe I should use the Dusk Ball. And no, no terrible idea. That's terror. Stay in the ball. 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 Yeah, I almost didn't say that. I'm like superstitious that if I don't say it, it won't work. But anyways, we got Litwick. Yeah, Dusk Ball works at night, so I'm gonna take it that it works terribly during the day. Anyways, number 113 in the unit of a Pokedex, Litwick, Candle Pokemon, Ghost Fire type, one foot nothing. Wow, that's even. 6.8 pounds, rather good number. While shining a light and pretending to be a god, it leeches the life off, life force off of any who follow it. Oh, that's so misleading for such a cute little Pokemon. I'm gonna name it, um, um, well, it's a chick, and it's a candle of fire, and it's a ghost. So, name that I associate with ghost. Uh, yeah, um... I don't really associate this name with ghost that much, but I kind of do. It's like, when you think of orange, what do you think of? Well, when I think of orange, I either think of soda, or the hair color, or uh, the crest of courage, which is rather lame on my part, because that's a Pokemon ref. I mean, a Digimon reference, which isn't really lame. I just, of all the things to think of, but anyways, uh, ah, uh, woman, why? <laughs> I come to you in need, and you want to battle me. What? Well, fine. So yeah, you have to beat the nurse, so she'll hear your Pokemon. First Pokemon is Gothita. Second Pokemon is uh, let me guess, Alomamola. That doesn't. Whoa! 
Dude, if you say that thing's Pokemon name backwards, it's the same thing. That is really cool. I don't remember what one of those words is called. I know that radar is one of them, and race car is one of them too. But yeah, I, yeah, that thing's got a cool name. Man, I should go capture one. Also, it's a very good special, I mean physical wall, but it's got no special at all. And I'm gonna finish it off now. You know, guys. Oh yeah, he's got the healings and yes. Uh, I thought like when a Pokemon evolved, you get to rename it again, and I was thinking that that no, that doesn't happen in Pokemon. What do you think? You're thinking Digimon, right? Silly Rayquaza. But anyways, now I just realized I wanted to name my Galvantula, which is what Joltik evolves into, Galvatron, because you know I'm a I'm a Transformers fan, and we forgot one trainer over here, so let's go battle her. I still want to fight Wandering Spirit. What uh, Spirit? Oh, I thought it's a Sprite. Spirits command me. First Pokemon is Litwick. Second Pokemon is Swoobat. Wow, so Litwick evolves into its second form at 41. And then you have to give it a Dusk Stone to cause it to evolve once again. And the result of all that evolution is its special attack is 145, which is massive. And by 145, I mean its base special attack is 145. So at level 50, it will be around there. At level 100, I think it's like twice that, just naturally. No, no, not twice that. That's like minimum. At like no, neutral, it's like three hundred something. And then if three, what is it like three sixty or something? And then if you like max it out, it's like four twenty, four twenty seven, I think. So let's just heal our Pokemon is up again, and yeah, we're pretty much done with this place. Unless the fourth floor has a bunch of trainers, which I think it does, or if it's the really long stairs that lead all the way up. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's yeah, trainers, not the really long ones. So let's just finish this tower in this episode, hopefully. So I'm going to skip through all these battles. Celestial Tower means a perfect tower. No, it doesn't, because Celestial does not mean perfect. Oh, never mind. Let's have a Pokemon battle. First and only Pokemon is Stoutland. Wow, that's really weird. Fluffers has a lot of special defense compared to his uh, actual defense. I wonder why. Let's uh, check out his nature. Careful, right. Special attack goes down. Special defense goes up. Which, you know, it's just fine, because with Intimidate, his, special, uh, his defense is just around 80-ish. Because Intimidate reduces the opponent's attack. So yeah, he's rather bulky. Uh, another trainer, it's another ace trainer. I'm hoping my Jolte can take it without having to switch out again. Pokemon that grew up in Unova and Pokemon that grew up elsewhere. Both rest here quietly. Okay, yeah. First Pokemon is Swoobat. Second Pokemon is Gotharita. Alright, the ace trainer has been defeated. Uh, balls. I'm gonna go run back down to the third floor, heal my Pokemon, and I'll be back in a second. Uh, hey guys, we're back, and we're just about done with this tower. I got a super repel off, so uh, no need to worry about wild Pokemon. Dowsing machine on, and you'll notice I'm a little quieter, because I, you know, it took a moment to think where I am, and yeah, it's just a Pokemon game, but still. Uh, this is a cemetery, so, uh, you know, it's not like sunshine and lollipops, it's a place for dead Pokemon to rest, and yeah, it's just a Pokemon game, but hey, 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 don't be a dick. It's a Pokemon game, but still dead things here and uh, yeah didn't really think much about that so here we are up here beautiful sky view no single not a single lag at all can't really say single lag at all because lags on a quantity like that but anyways let's uh, talk to Skyla up here because there's wild Pokemon up here and I don't want to battle them oh you oh you came thank you I was right what I was what I saw was a hurt Pokemon yes I have to do this voice Alright, so basically, she healed the Pokemon and it got away. I have no idea what Pokemon it was, but it was apparently f able to fly, so... She used a Max Revive on it, which is rather nice. Yeah, you have great eyesight. Good for you. Um, oh, she's a pilot, too. Awesome. Oh, that's right. Since you came this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in the sound. That's cool, let's uh, listen to the sound. Now, before anything, I'm going to crank up the noise a lot, so, you know, don't hate me for it, but I really want to hear the melody of the bell, so the music's going to go crazy loud, so, and now, loud time. I'm going to ring the bell now, so let's hear it. Celestial bell, would you like to ring the bell? Yes, I would. Ray rang the bell. The sound of the bell reverberates throughout the area. What a pretty sound. Ray, you are a kind and strong person. Thank you! That means nothing to me, actually. 
All right, let's reduce the sound because I'm pretty sure the person's in my room. Well, next to my rooms has HUD that, and that's not good. They're supposed to be sleeping now. Well, it's not in. I ought to be getting up anyways. That's a nice way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> uh, she's going to introduce herself again. She's Skyla, the gym leader at Mr. Wilton City. Yeah, I read that all fuzzled up and stuff. She uses flying type Pokemon, which flying types are my favorite type, ma'am. So let's... Oh, can't battle here. Right. Not the gym. I knew that. I wonder if we can fly from... I don't have a Pokemon that can fly. <laughs> so actually, that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, Kwame Qua Kwasi of the day. Uh, question of the day. Uh, what do you guys think of these Pokemon cemeteries? I think I was being a dumbass by being really loud and annoying. Should have been all respectful and stuff. But anyways, that's it for today's episode. Almost 20 minutes on the recording time, but it'll be edited out. So that's it. That's it like three times. Four times even. Anyways, that's another word I tend to use too often. Bye!